hello guys welcome back to my channel so the last update about unfortunate love was how malishka gets scared after inspector dorgadevi begins her investigation so let's continue from there rishi and lakshmi are in the kitchen rishi asks lakshmi to make him eat with her hand and if he bite her finger then she can kiss him lakshmi says i would eat rishi says i will not bite you and says pinky promise he eats with lakshmi's hand and then he makes lakshmi eat with his hand Malishka looks at them and she gets jealous and upset. Rishi and Lakshmi continues to feed food to each other. Rishi wipes his mouth with Lakshmi's palo. Dorga Devi says to the family that she has inquired with Ayush and she got to know many things about Balvinda. She says she needs to talk to one more person. Malishka comes there. Dorga Devi looks at Malishka. Karishma asks that whom do you want to talk to? Dorga Devi says I hope that person cooperates with me and Virendra says everyone will cooperate. Grandma says that Dorga Devi can ask her anything about Balvinda. Dorga Devi says she did not want to ask Grandma. She says she wants to talk to Lakshmi. She asks Lakshmi to tell her everything. Lakshmi says, let's go to Rishi and my room. Dorga Devi says, okay. Malishka gets worried. Rishi also comes to the room. Dorga Devi asks Rishi to go. Rishi says, I want to be with Lakshmi. Dorga Devi says, you can go. And he asks him not to be scared. Rishi says, with whatever happened, Lakshmi is the most affected. I don't want her to feel weak or alone, so I will stay here with her. It is a humble request. Dorga Devi says to Rishi that I heard that you and Lakshmi are taking divorce and then also you are supporting Lakshmi. She says if you want to stay here, then I don't have any objection. She asks Lakshmi not to feel bad with her questions. Lakshmi says I have never seen an inspector like you and I am okay with your questions. Dorga Devi says to Lakshmi that I heard that your marriage was fixed with Balvinda and she asks her to tell her from the scratch. Lakshmi says she is from Godaspur. She says on my marriage day, we met with an accident and my parent died. She says before his death, my father had taken a promise from my uncle to get me married. Lakshmi says to Dorga Devi that I came with my uncle and aunt to Mumbai and my aunt fixed my marriage with Balvinda and I agreed because it was my father's wish. She says Balvinda had taken me to a hotel and he tried to molest me and I told my aunt that I don't want to marry but she did not agree. Lakshmi says then on the marriage day, fire broke out and I saved Rishi there. Lakshmi says to Dorga Devi that my marriage with Balvinda was called off then but Balvinda tried again to get married to me. Then father came there and proposed Rishi and my marriage. She says Balvinda tried to kidnap me during my marriage with Rishi and now he came about the pregnancy. He says that the baby is his. Rishi owed Lakshmi's aunt to support her and Lakshmi tells Dorga Devi that Balvinda has already married twice. Dorga Devi says to Lakshmi that this is enough for now and she leaves. Lakshmi keeps her head on Rishi's chest and she cries. Rishi pacifies her. Dorga Devi asks the constable if he comes to know anything about Balvinda's friend. The constable says yes. The lady constable tells Dorga Devi about Balvinda's wife's death. Dorga Devi asks for the call records and says we came to know about Balvinda and how he tried to elope when he was at home. She says someone might have helped him and says my sight is stuck on Malishka. In the room, Malishka gets angry and says Lakshmi will snatch Rishi from me and Rishi is romancing with Lakshmi. She says I went to Balvinda and risked my life and I love Rishi. She says Lakshmi would have his life and I would have the handcuff and she gets frustrated. Rishi and Lakshmi collide in their room. Lakshmi says sorry. Rishi says I heard you because we are about to fall. Rishi says I will never let you fall and I will hold your hand always. Lakshmi recalls and gets teary eyes. She asks forever. Rishi says I will never let you fall down. Grandma and Ahana comes there and try to hear them. Rishi asks that what do Lakshmi want to hear? Lakshmi asks if Rishi would hold her hand always. Rishi says I will hold you always. Lakshmi gets teary eyes. Rishi says no, and he asks if the tanka is fit in her eyes. He says, I'll be with you always, so don't cry. Rishi says, I can be with you until you want. Lakshmi says, I got emotional. She asks, what do you want? Rishi also asks that, what do you want? Ayush comes there and stands outside with Grandma and Ahana. Rishi asks, whose question was it? It was mine. Lakshmi says, I want. She says it four times. Rishi asks, what? They smile. Ayu says, come on, express love for each other. Ahana says, love should be expressed today. 
Ayush gets inside the room and falls down. Rishi asks, what are you doing? Lakshmi says, Ayush. Malishka picks the broken cups. Kiran asks, what are you doing? And she asks if she broke the things angrily. She says, you are in the Obrey's house. Malishka asks Kiran not to lecture her when she is upset. She says, sorry, and she regrets to involve Balvinda. She says, I might be thrown out of the house. And says, she is very scared and she doesn't know what to do. Kiran says to Malishka that you have lost, so will you sit quiet? She asks her to make things right. Malishka asks Kiran not to make her feel that she has lost. Kiran says defeat and victory would happen in war. She asks Malishka to do something, and Malishka asks, what can I do? Balvinda thinks that Malishka made him a us, and he thinks of what to do. He asks a guy if he can make a call from his phone. The guy gives him his phone. Balvinda thinks that what was Malishka's number? He calls Malishka. Malishka thinks that who is this? I will not pick the call from an unknown number. He calls her again, but Malishka rejects the call again. Balvinda returns the phone to the guy. Malishka thinks that some charity phone guy is calling her. Kiran says it might be Balvinda's call. Malishka calls on the number. The guy thinks that the goon type guy might break his phone and says it was wrong number. Malishka gets upset. She asks Kiran what to do. Nilam comes there and asks Malishka to make Rishi ours. Ayush falls down into Lakshmi and Rishi's room. Lakshmi helped Ayush to get up and asks if he got out. Ayush says no. Rishi asks how did you all come here? Ayush says Grandma and Ahana. They says no. We did not push him. Ayush says they were outside and Grandma asks if Ayush was here and hearing them secretly. Nilam comes to Malishka and asks why she is lost and sad. Malishka thinks that, how can I tell you that I have teamed up with Balvinda? Nilam says no reason can shaking up your courage and says she wants that Malishka whom Rishi used to love madly. She asks Malishka to go and snatch Rishi from Lakshmi. She says you got busy in Ahana's problem that we did not think that Rishi and Lakshmi's divorce haven't happened and Lakshmi is taking Rishi away from Malishka's side slowly. Grandma slaps Ayush and asks him to come in front of her. Ayush hides behind Lakshmi and calls Grandma ruthless. Lakshmi asks Ayush to apologize to Grandma. Ayush says no. Grandma says she will get Ayush married soon. Ayush falls on Grandma's feet and apologizes to her and says I will be ruined if I get married and he pleaded in front of her. Grandma says now see what I do and she goes. Ayush goes behind her. Ahana asks Lakshmi and Rishi to continue and she goes. Lakshmi is about to go out. Rishi pulls Lakshmi closer and asks that where is she going to, leaving the question. Lakshmi says question. She recalls the question and asks if Rishi did not know. Rishi says I know. Lakshmi asks until when I am here or forever. Grandma and Ahana shouted forever. Rishi and Lakshmi comes out and sees them hearing them. Grandma says I was already going. Ahana also says the same. Rishi smiles and says he would go. Nilam tells Malishka that Lakshmi started making Rishi ass and says the way Rishi stood by Lakshmi. She asks her to snatch Rishi from Lakshmi. Malishka asks, what can I do? Nilam asks Malishka to think of Ayush's compliment, beauty with brains. Kiran says it is a deadly combo. Nilam says Malishka knows what to do. She goes to talk with Kiran. Sonia comes there and shows Rishi and Malishka's picture to Malishka and she asks Malishka to make Rishi believe that she can do anything for him and she can give her life for him. Ayush comes to his room and thinks to do some exercise. Shalu calls him. Ayush picks the call and tells Shalu that his body part are shaking up and says nobody gives him water or food. Shalu says all the family members are there and even Lakshmi's sister. She should have taken care of you so much. Ayu says Lakshmi is busy and he asks Shalu if she would come and massage his legs. Shalu says she will start with his neck. Ayush laughs and asks, did you believe me at first? Shalu says to Ayush that I am ending the call and says I called to ask you if you are fine. Ayush says I am fine and he tells her that he is feeling well due to her prayers. Shalu says I would end the call and says bye. Ayush says bye and he asks her to end the call. Shalu asks Ayush to end the call. Ayush says ladies first. If you are not a lady, then I will cut the call. Shalu ends the call. Ayush gets happy to talk to her. Shalu thinks that why did she call him? Bani asks Shalu to call him Jala. Shalu says Jala and goes. Bani also makes fun of Shalu. Balvinda sits in Gudu's car covering himself with sari and says he is wandering here and there in the city and he doesn't know where to go because the police are after him. He asks Gudu to take him home. 
and then says, Don't take me there, as Rishi and Ayush might come there. He asked Gudu to take him to his house, and the tea seller asked for his money. Gudu asked the tea seller to make masala tea. The tea seller called Balvinda as Babi and asked if she would like to have tea. Balvinda asked Gudu to drive the car. Gudu says, You are my wife, but barely for others, and he asked him to come and have tea. Balvinda and Gudu get down from the car and order tea. Balvinda sees Dorga Devi coming there and talks to the constables, asking if they got Balvinda's record. She says she is at the tea shop and she asks them to come there. Balvinda hears her and thinks that Rishi complained against me with the police. Dorga Devi takes tea and sits in the car. Someone collides with Balvinda. Balvinda shouted at him. Before the guy could realize his voice, Gudu scolded him. Dorgadevi gets down from the car and shows Balvinda's picture to the tea seller and asks if he saw him. The tea seller says no. Dorgadevi then asks Gudu and Gudu tells her that he did not know him. Balvinda tells Gudu that he needs to stand here to know her plan. Sonia asks Malishka to distance Lakshmi and Rishi. Malishka says she tried to do this using Balvinda but she became bad in the process. Sonia asks Malishka to do divide and rule and says nobody feels in this and says you have to separate Rishi and Lakshmi to get closer to Rishi. She asks her to make such a plan so that she can win. Malishka says she would win Rishi and she has a plan for this. The constable comes to Durga Devi and tells her that Rishi was about to marry Malishka just like Lakshmi was about to marry Balvinda in the past. The lady constable says Rishi is going to get engaged to Malishka after his divorce with Lakshmi. Dorgadevi says if Lakshmi and Rishi's past are together, she says this means that Balvinda and Malishka. Gudu pays the money to the tea seller. Dorgadevi stops Balvinda and Gudu. Balvinda thinks if she saw him. Grandma talks to a photo frame and says she did not tell anyone and says when we were ready then, what will others do? She says we are one soul and she sings a song. Lakshmi hears her while standing outside. Grandma says I love you so much. Lakshmi comes inside and asks Grandma that what is it. Grandma says, if Rishi and you don't say it to each other, then I will say it. Lakshmi asks what they don't say to each other. Grandma says, you don't say I love you to each other. Lakshmi looks on in shock. Okay guys, thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and check the comment section for the link to the next update once it is available. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.